I'm Cyrus Sarabi. I'm a fourth year environmental geoscientist major at the University of Houston. Also doing a math minor, going to be graduating this semester, hopefully starting grad school in the summer or fall. Not sure yet. yet. Not sure where yet, just doing applications and that sort of thing. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk about my process and what I went through to improving from a 530, my first uh, official it was yeah first official practice test to a 760 on my first attempt on the official exam and I took that in person I ended up getting a Q50 V42 split with a six on the IR and six on the AWA so I initially started my prep after I scored a 530 on my first exam or my first official practice exam and honestly that was pretty demotivating because I thought I'd have a, a better base I expected, you know, something like a 600 or something because I'm a math minor and, you know, I've, I've, I thought I've always been good at math, but you really have to get used to the way that the GMAT asks questions and, you know, the type of questions that they ask. So that was really important. You know, I spent a, a period of time being demotivated and being like, oh, dude, like 530, how am I going to improve to a 700 or 730, whatever I want? But, you know, like... Ultimately, I just decided, I was like, you know, you're going to study every day, three to four hours, you know, at the library, just doing self-study and, you know, I'll do it. Uh, and I think about a month into my prep, I was getting really exhausted of self-study because I was just reading the these Manhattan review book or Manhattan prep books that I bought. And I'm not hating on Manhattan or anything like any other strategy guides or prep books like that it's just the way i study effectively is through videos and through reading and through flashcards and that sort of thing and the way i was doing it was just reading it and reading it and i wasn't really paying attention just trying to get through it so when i took a practice test um, test a month later around august i only scored a 630 and it was improvement from 530 from 530 to 100 but i wanted more so i was like okay how can i improve it even more and I started doing research about like different other test met test prep methods and services, and that's when I stumbled upon TP TTP. And the reviews I had seen for TTP were almost un unbelievable because I had seen some anecdotes like talking about how they went from 500, 200, 300, 400, or I think those are 400 or something to like 780 or something like crazy like that. I was like, okay, that can't be real. And so I went on the website. I saw there was only a dollar. So I was like, okay, then let me just, you know, see what all the fuss is about. And I think pretty much instantly I fell in love with CTP because of the way it was structured. It was so, I saw that it was so comprehensive. There were chapter tests uh, for each section. So after you finish a section that's filled with not only reading, but also videos that Scott does personalize. So it makes, it makes it feel like you're not alone, even though you're studying alone when you, when you see a solution and it's worked out by Scott, you know, he's cracking jokes, he's doing the thing. So it's a really enjoyable experience. And then you get to the chapter tests and you get to drill, like, because there's so many chapter tests. I think there's like, there's probably over a hundred or something. I'm not sure, but like when you finish a section, you just drill like the easy, medium, hard. And as long as you're hitting the baselines, you're going to get a good score on the test. Like, I think that I... No, I didn't take any practices, or no, I took one practice test the day before the exam, which was an official, and I scored 740. So from the from August to October 29th, which was the day before my exam, I took no practice test, did no OG practice, and I scored a 740 and then a 760 on the official. So I wasn't even paying attention, or I wasn't even drilling the OG questions like I should have been. But that just goes to show how good TTP is, that you can just rely on TTP and you don't have to do anything else. Um, I used TTP for you know, about from August to October 30th, so that's about two months. And I think, uh, yeah, so I, I said in total I spent around 250 hours and I didn't even complete it. So there was 125 hours a month. At, so I, I was spending like four hours a day. And I know that not everybody can do it, so it's definitely a big commitment. So I would suggest that, you know, give yourself ample time. You know, it's not most effective. You're not going to see the best results if you just schedule your 
your exam one month after you signed up for TTB. It's just, you know, it takes time to learn all these things, finish the chapter sets, and really drill the knowledge. Uh, and if you take the time, you can make as much um, as much of a score improvement that you want. Like it's just, it is really just reflective of how much you put into it because TTB has everything. It's completely comprehensive. Um, it gives you everything you need to know. So as long as you know it, you'll do extremely well on the exam. There are some aspects of DTP course that stand out to me. And one of those is the chapter test because they're super important for drilling the information that you learn. So when you finish the section, usually you'd, you know, maybe move on to the next section if you're doing self-study. But that, when you move on to the next section, you really don't retain the, all of the information super well. So you wanna be doing a bunch of questions that relate to that subject you just read. So you can just drill it over and over again. You know, that's how, that's how your mind works. You know, the more you repeat it, the more ingrained it'll be in your mind. And, you know, when you come test day, you'll see that problem and you'll know what to do. So I think that's something that stands out. And even though it is self-study, it doesn't feel like it because, because of the way it's structured. So I think it's structured really well. And, you know, and I understand it can get like super grueling and it's so lengthy that, you know, sometimes it can feel like it'll, it'll never end. But really, if you just, you know, give it a couple hours a day, you know, a few, a few months later, you will be at the finish line and you will know, you have learned everything you need to know about the GMAT and you will get a great score. So I think it's definitely worth it. And it's only like 99 bucks a month. So if you finish it in four months, that's around $400, which is a small price to pay considering like the score improvements that you might have and the opportunities that that score improvement will give you, you know, it'll open up new schools, new scholarships and that sort of thing. So it's, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, something that I want to talk about for GMAT prep that I think is super important is just when you're starting out, remember to have a goal in mind and like a good reason that you're doing this. Don't be like just taking the GMAT because you know, like you think you might want to get a master's or something, you know, it's really difficult to stay determined and stay focused when you don't have a clear goal in mind. So if you if you have a goal, like you wanna to go to Harvard or something, you know, have that in mind every time you study and it'll become easier and easier to really like not lose track of why you're doing it because, you know, it is lengthy. Um, not, not, not that TTP is lengthy, but just like, you know, studying for a long period of time, you know, it can take a toll and, you know, sometimes it can be demotivating. So just have a good reason to start and a good reason that you're doing this and you'll not find yourself demotivated all the time. But yeah, overall, I think that TTP is the best course out there and yeah, 99 bucks, yeah, 99 bucks is uh, such a small price to pay for how effective the chapter tests or the material and the YouTube videos are. Uh, I really could not have gotten a 760, you know, from a 530 to a 760 with any other prep course, I think. You know, I haven't experienced them all, but I can only speak for TTP that I would not have done without TTP. That's all I have to say. Thanks.